Hello and welcome to today's Honkai Star Rail video. Today we'll be discussing Beilu, a standout character in the game's roster. With her lightning element and abundance path, Beilu occupies a unique position as one of the only two available healers until the introduction of future characters. This makes her an invaluable addition to early game teams, where players fortunate enough to obtain her can greatly benefit from her remarkable healing prowess. But Beilu's usefulness doesn't stop there. As the game progresses and new characters are introduced, she continues to hold relevance, particularly in challenging content such as the higher levels of Forgotten Hall. In such scenarios, Beilu's healing capabilities become even more vital for sustaining the team's overall survival. Despite having a few downsides, such as the occasional unreliability of her skill healing and limited utility compared to some other characters, Beilu remains a unit worthy of investment and team building. Her exceptional healing power and unique ability to safeguard allies make her an indispensable asset, contributing to the success and longevity of players' journeys in Honkai Star Rail. In the best part, she's not a particularly difficult character to build to get optimal results. So, let's talk about the best relics for Beilu. The ideal cavern relic set for Beilu is the Passerby of Wandering Cloud, which provides an increased outgoing healing bonus on the 2P bonus and grants an additional skill point at the beginning of battle. As for the planary ornaments, players have two choices. The first option is the Fleet of the Ageless, which boosts Beilu's HP for enhanced healing and grants an ATK buff to all allies if her speed exceeds 120, adding a support function alongside her healing abilities. Alternatively, players who want to prioritize Beilu's ultimate and conserve skill points can consider the sprightly Bonwax set, which enhances energy regeneration and allows Beilu to advance her action if her speed exceeds 145. When it comes to substats, the priority for Beilu should be HP% percent greater than flat HP greater than speed in order to maximize her healing potential. And for light cones, there are several gacha and F2P options available for Beilu's abundance path, such as post opus conversation, shared feeling, and cornucopia. But Beilu's signature 5 star light cone, Time Waits for No One, stands out as an excellent choice, as it boosts her HP and adds extra DPS by launching a lightning attack based on her outgoing healing whenever a healed ally attacks the enemy. Considering her role as a healer, most of Beilu's skills and passives are focused on restoring the HP of her team members. Among them, her ultimate ability, Leap of Marsh Draken, should be given the highest priority. This powerful AoE healing skill can greatly restore the health of all team members, making it a vital tool, especially when facing bosses that primarily deal AoE damage. In addition to the immediate healing effect, Beilu's ultimate also grants a valuable, invigorated buff to the party members, which enables them to receive additional healing whenever they are hit for the next two or three turns, depending on whether players have already ascended Beilu or not. And that's all for today's video. We hope you found this guide useful in building your own Beilu and maximizing her healing potential. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other Honkai Star Rail content for more tips and tricks.